Hello and welcome back to the Walking Dead. Let's continue, shall we? It's not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. Not much, but here. You sure? Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks. That's, uh, really sweet. Don't mention it. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. It's not much, but here. For the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. Ah, it's his parents. No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead guards. Out of stock. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work though. Here, let me have a look. <sighs> Nothing. There are no batteries in this thing. What now? Do you know that there are no batteries in that thing? Yeah, of course. Yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. Central High Tech State. Papers a week old. Feels like years. It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. Here. I've been finding some stuff to eat. Oh, um, thanks. You're welcome. Are you sure your girl doesn't eat it? She's good. I've been trying to keep her fed and watered. You're a good caretaker. Thanks. I'm not a caretaker. I don't like that word. Oh, you're a caretaker. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. I, I played th through this, so I know where everything is. Sorry, that's kind of like newbie, but oh well. Don't worry, I only played through one and two. This episodes, battery should fit the radio. So. Great, thanks. And here's another one. Should be able to get it to work now. It's still not working. Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. Go ahead. continues to spread unchecked. The estimated death toll continues to skyrocket. WABE urges you to stay indoors and avoid any contact with individuals you suspect may have been exposed. The station is okay. In the event of a full... Uh, uh, my, my producer's telling me we have to get off the air. Steve. Uh, WABE wishes you and your loved ones...
You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. That radio sign-off didn't sound too good. Are you okay? I'm fine. You're really fine. All of your colleagues are probably there. You don't think I know that? Of course I'm not fucking fine. God, Lee, just... Leave me alone. You said you were okay. Wait, what? Um... Hey, Connie. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. That guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kinda cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. Huh? Huh? Oh, nothing. How'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. I better get back to it. Yep. Try to get some rest, hon. How can I with those I things out there? Well. Hey, Lee. Maybe punching him wasn't such a good idea. There were worse plans. Says the guy who didn't get punched in the mouth. Anyway, we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How's she doing? Family's dead, so... That's awful, Lee. Yeah, well... She seems to be handling herself all right. She's just a little girl, Ken. Lee says she spent days on her own. That takes toughness. But you have no idea what sort of emotional damage is happening to her every second her family is gone. What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so... We ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Macon. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? They, uh, own this place. They're gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but yeah, they're dead. Are you guys all right? Oh, we're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. I panicked, you know. I'm not proud of it. You let that boy die. I know, man. I know. What would it have taken? You free duck, you clear your head, and we get that tractor off his leg. That's what I keep thinking. I keep seeing his face. Good. You should. We need to be able to count on one another. Oh, snap. He's so, so disappointed, bro. Oh, snap. Cheer up, bro. Oh, uh, I'll, 
I have um, Left 4 Dead 2, so I'll do a Let's Play on that, maybe. I don't know. We'll see how you guys feel about it. Tell me in the comment section. Ah, Clemmy Clay. Oh, no, PewDiePie says that. I can't. I can't do I can't think about them in here. Stayed, kid. It's Lee and his mother and his dad and his brother and oh, poor guy. I didn't hear the river. Find anything? Let me have a look. I don't know about that. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? The world is ending out there. Who cares who I am? If you don't think people will find any reason to turn on you, especially when the shit hits the fan, you're insane. Whatever. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Thanks. Oh, she's blushing. Don't worry about it. She's blushing. Oh, it's so cute. My parents came in here hoping to survive. But it looks like one of them was hurt. Be a hero, maybe. Or a protector, at least. No. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Eh, the angle of the camera. How do you change it? What's that? This was my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you would have. My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Oh. Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. <sighs> Things have been scary, huh? Yeah. It's not good. I don't know why everyone is crazy. <laughs> Neither do I, Clementine. Nobody does, I don't think. I bet my dad does. Okay, here we go. <laughs> that, face. that face. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor and my dad is an engineer. Those are good jobs. What's your job? 
I, uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like, um, social studies? Yeah, like that. You didn't sorry, answer my question. Oh. All right, a little further. I'm sorry if you could hear me breathing there. My mic wasn't, uh, up. So, you could hear me breathing. Um, sorry. Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? I hope not. It's just complicated, that's all. Why? It just is. But you love them, right? Yeah, of course. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I got into some trouble and, and I didn't talk to him for a while. This used to be their store. But let's just keep that between you and me, okay? Okay. Because of the trouble? Yeah, that's right. Now, let's get this done. Ow! Oh, snap. Are you okay? I hurt my finger. She's Is infected. A little. Shoot her in the head, she's infected. I'll find you a bandage. She's infected, we have to shoot her in the head. Sorry, Clement Klein, we have to kill you. It's the remote to my dad's TV. Hey, <laughs> screw Clement Klein's bleeding finger. <laughs> That's what I figured. Lee? Oh, never mind. Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll, uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. But we should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? Let's have a look at that finger. How? It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Shoot her in the heart. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. from Glenn? Not in a little while. What? Damn it, sneeze already. How's your finger? It's okay. Thanks for fixing it. Everyone out there seem all right to you. Ah! Yeah. Well, sneeze. maybe not the sick guy. Yeah, we'll keep an eye on him. There was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? Well, I'm not gonna go looking for them. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. Everyone out there seem all right to you? Yeah. Well, maybe not the uh, sick I guy. I yeah, there. we'll keep an eye on him. There was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. Wait, wait, wait. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah. Can you do that more? Well, I'm not gonna go looking for them. I mean, get the dangerous oh, ones. Okay. I'm gonna try. Good. Sorry if you heard that. I was about to sneeze, so I just blew my nose. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. Uh... That's the door to the pharmacy. We should be able to find pills for Larry in there. 
It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're gonna help Larry. I think this episode will be a little bit longer. Wanna head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I, uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? No, he wasn't. Oh. Was he bad? He was. How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. We already know that. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. He didn't have to call me a bitch in front of my people. I don't need that shit, all right? It's hard enough to be in charge of people's lives without some dick cutting you down. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. He's an asshole. You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UGA. I'm gonna get back to him now. Hey there. Uh, this is Glenn, and uh, I'm kinda in a jam here. Really? Uh, I love little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie, or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I, uh, uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn, we're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, alright? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Hey there. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way! We gotta go, now! Listen, I was out here looking for gas, and then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her, and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't, and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A, a couple almost got me. I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal. Over a girl. I'm saving her. With or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. Yeah, it's part of that. 
so we have to kill every one of them in here. Quietly. Noise attracts these things. Now let's have a look around. Smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. They really want to get into that room. See the spark plug. The porcelain inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. Scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. Uh... 
um, here's what happened. The video cut up after 30 uh, minutes. So here's a basically bottom line what happened. Uh, there was a girl in the room. She was infected. I gave her the gun. I gave her Carly's gun to shoot herself. And then we see Lee's brother. Lee kills his brother. We get the keys to the pharmacy, and then the alarm starts going off. And then uh, zombies start hoarding and coming to the um, pharmacy because of the noise. And then you had to choose between Carly and Doug to save. I saved uh, Carly. And when we're about to leave, Larry punches me in the face and then um, Kenny comes to save me. And then after that we just hold up at the motel. And then the power goes out. So yeah, sorry for the inconvenience.